want to add more stuff into the white kitchen, again, you know, when you are on this page, you click on visual portfolio, white visual. kitchens. Okay. So let it, let this page load. So here are all your white kitchens. Yes. Um, yeah, ton of white kitchens. So all you have to do is click on the plus sign at the very end and okay. then add the kitchen. Uh, one of the things that I would like to tell you is if you ever want to, you know, uh, reorder it, you can do it very easily. It's as simple as dragging and dropping. Do you see that? Okay. So yeah, mm -hmm. but anything yeah. you do, it won't stick unless and until you click on update. So when you're done ordering, reordering, you click on update and it'll update for you. I see. Yeah, so there is there's no, uh, there is not much of any um, difficulty in, in doing any kind of edits. We have done the way in such, we have actually made the page so friendly that you're able to edit it at any point, any time without, you know, too much, thinking too much about it. Yeah. So once okay. again, uh, since we are here, see, it will ask you to update it because the last change of ordering, yeah. I have not updated. So I, I'll just leave because I wasn't sure. So basically the last yeah. thing I want to tell you is this. So let's start again, how we, how I got here. Okay. So I sent you a, a document. In this document, yes. you have a username. Use that username. Use that username and use that password. So once you are in, you will see this dashboard over here. Once you come to the dashboard, I suggest go directly over here and view the site. When you do that, you will see this black bar on the top. Now yes. navigate to any page of your choice that you want to edit. So I clicked on testimonials. So any page of your choice. And then if it is a content based page, you click on edit page. And here you are. Wait for the page to load. And if you will see over here, there is a short code for testimonials. So since it's a short code, if you'll see testimonials is over here, you will go to the testimonial short code and update any short, uh, any testimonials over here. If you want to add, you keep adding and it will automatically add it to this page. Okay. So again, testimonial okay. portfolio, these are all placed in their own modules. Okay. So you go to the respective modules and make the changes. If you want to make any changes to your portfolio, go to the respective portfolio, for example, remodels. Go to remodels, see visual portfolio over here, click on remodel. And you will come to this page. The, the uh, preview shows on the top, go to the content source at the bottom go to the very last, click on plus to add any image and hover any image over here and click on minus to delete any image. Whether it is a page, visual portfolio, testimonial, unless you click on update, the pages will not be updated. Okay. Okay. Or you know what I'm saying uh, before after. You want to add before and after, before and after picture uh, in the portfolio? Yes. Uh, do you think it has to 
right there one of the columns or bars oh so here you want to add before and after pictures over here you said yes yeah, you can do that you can you can totally do that we have not set this site up for you to add more uh, that will take a little bit of more effort so uh, i can help you do that and i can give you a code on how uh, how to make that feature appear but for now okay. you you do you have the ability to go to existing portfolio add delete anything you need So I need. So if to, I go, Leo, can I add a section? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can add any sections you want anywhere. So let's say, uh, in your, even in your portfolio, let's say design build portfolio. Okay. So there yeah. is under construction over here. Let's say in construction, you you want to add something over here. You can go to edit page. so wait for it to load and let's say this is an existing you know image that we have already added you know but you want to create a new section you can add a cre uh, create a new section it can be you know something with images a video or just a text block you can do anything okay. that you want so let's say you want to add a gallery so you can add a gallery as well you can add three things in the gallery you can add the images so let me just show you how this works so let's say three four so i added these five items i put it in the gallery it shows what size and here you can say whether you want thumbnail medium or large so i'll just say medium i'll save this and let's see what happens when i update it So if you'll notice, these are the images that I just added. So like I said, when you try to add something different than what we already created for you, it will be a, you know, it look appear like this. Do you see what I'm saying? Since when we create yes. this website, we made it in such a way that it look good no matter what we add. So if you try to add anything new, you might have to do a little bit more work. So see how easy it is to delete a section. So that's basically it. Okay, and yeah, it teaches um, how to optimize photos because we have a um, new project lease and like to add more in our. Um, okay. That's that's uh, on our uh, web. Really good question. So, in order to optimize a photo, right? So, for example, let me go to any photo that I have already on on my desktop. So let's say I want this. So you will see when you're talking about optimizing photos, there are two things. Number one is the size of the photo. And the second thing is also the dimension of the photo. So when you use your phone or your uh, or a high quality camera, the photo can go into 4,000 by 4,000 pixels or whatever. But your maximum, you know, window size over here, it doesn't go beyond 1920, you know. So dimension wise also, you don't need such a huge photo. And size wise also, your computer does not have the ability to show so many pixels. So why not optimize the photo? So usually what I do in order to optimize the photo is I use something like, um, um, what do you call? Let's see, be funky, yeah. So I use something like be funky or something and it is a free editor. So you can see best photo editor ever. So what I do, so yeah. you can see over here, I'm, I'm already editing photos. So what I do, I come over here, yes. I can crop, I can resize, and I can also okay. make sure, you know, they save. So when I save this, 
uh, on my computer. So it will ask you whether you want to save it as a JPEG, PNG. So always save it as a P JPEG. And in this quality, you can see over here, it says 95. So uh, yeah. you so here is what your image looks like at 95. So just see if you can, you know, bring the quality down. Don't bring it beyond uh, 72 DPI. Up to 72 DPI, your photo will still show, look sharp. See, it says low quality image over here. So depend, depending on what the image is, you know, so over here at 82 DPI, it says very good quality. So I would go with when this tool says good quality. And the dimension over here okay. shows me the dimension of the image. So this is a good dimension. It's not like way beyond, you know, like the poster size. It's just a small image that looks nice on my computer. And then, oh. of course, you give it a proper name and you save it on your computer. Now, once you save this on your computer, you use your website same way. Like, for example, let's say I want to add this image over here. So I'll say image. So single image. And then I will say, OK, I want to upload the photo that I just created. So it was called the rotary something. Yeah. So I'm not sure where it went. So whatever the image is, you, here it is. So let's see over here. Give it a second. Showing folder. And it is B. Yeah, so all I have to do is drag and drop. The photo shows up over here. Once the photo, this is my, sorry. The photo shows over here. Make sure you 100% add yeah. an alt tag. Save the image. The image shows up. Here you can choose whether you want a thumbnail, large or full size image. So you can decide what you want. Save the image. Update the page. And once the page is updated, so the image appears over here. And now you can view the image. So you'll see the images over here, right? And the image looks yeah. super sharp, even at 82 DPI. Yeah, okay. So I click on edit the page. I'll go ahead and delete this section. That's about it. You guys are now web wow. masters. <laughs> 